All right, let's watch me play Dead by Daylight. I picked Nemesis because uh, he's new and I haven't tried him out yet. I've been out of practice. I haven't been playing much Dead by Daylight. I've been playing Hades. Um, so he's got this weird tentacle strike. I'm not quite sure how that works. I'm eager to try it out. Uh, fortunately, these guys were bad at hiding. Uh, as you can see, I, the tentacle strike's no good. I haven't figured out where exactly that hits or how it works. So we tried again. No, still nothing. Might just be time for a fist. There we go. Now let's uh, follow the scratch marks. We don't want to lose him. Nemesis moves really fast, so that's fun. He, I don't know what he was trying there, but I'm going to maybe hit him with a tentacle. Now I decide to open the locker. Hit the wrong button, so I'll just punch it. Hopefully that added to his terror in there as I stood outside. Let's go ahead and get this first hook in. I'm just using Nemesis 3 standard perks. I haven't played with him enough to really have a good build or a bunch of good perk options. Kick that generator to slow them down. And let's go look. Now, I noticed here that the zombies, when they detect a survivor, they'll start moving towards them. It's kind of an early warning tool, and I really liked it the more I played around with it. So I feel like somebody's around this generator, but I don't see anyone. I checked the locker, and boom! That was a lucky accident. I'm sure they think that I was doing some sort of wall viewing hack, but I promise that was that was pure luck. I checked that locker. You know, I didn't see any scratch marks. It seemed like the place to hide. Try this tentacle strike. All right. So I'm playing with it a little bit in the range of the zombies to see how it works. It also helps me build up my mutation meter, which I'm sure will ultimately be helpful as I better learn how to play Nemesis. Yeah, it doesn't really look like it hits in the middle of the screen, but that does seem to be where it lands. So, I feel like the hitbox isn't really trustworthy. I uh, better go check this gen up here. They like to work on this one in relative privacy. But no one's up there. And again, I'm super rusty. I don't really... The maps change. Oh, spotted somebody. That's uh, Adam. It's Adam Francis. He's unhooked. And he's running away. Nope, that's uh, the Silent Hill girl. I thought it was Adam Francis, but I was wrong. Nevertheless, I've got a beat on her, so let's try and chase her down. Get some bloodlust, so I'm moving a bit faster. Tentacle doesn't have the range to hit from that far away. Uh, I would have almost lost her there, but she did that quick vault break this pallet for later. It's always good to break the pallets if, if you got a second. And losing her won't be so bad. Somebody's messed up on these generators over here, so let's go check that out. This is going to be a running theme. I'm going to be back to this generator a lot. Uh, Steve, I'm sure, was just hiding, crouched down at the generator um, while I go over here and spectacularly fail to hit this guy. I'm so bad at this game. Like, mm, just running circles around me while I flail about ineffectively. I guess he just gave up and decided to stand there at the wall until I could hit him. Uh, yeah, so just tracking Dr. Adam Francis down. I feel a little bad because I already snagged him once, but he's the only one I've got eyes on. And again, he goes for the locker. That was a bad idea, Adam. It didn't work the first time. It's, it's not going to work this time. This is exactly where I hooked him last time, I believe. So go back to this generator to kick it. And uh, this is going to be a running theme. I'm going to come back to this generator a lot. So I've got two hooks in on Adam. They've got one gen done. Once again, the zombies. I wasn't sure if that zombie was leading me towards someone or if they were just going towards the hooked survivor. Um, 
it looks as if they were moving towards someone. Because he's off the hook again. The graphical update to this game has been really good. It's, it's a lot prettier now. Um, of course, it's the fifth anniversary celebration, so that's why all the balloons and such are on the generators. Yep. Oh, Steve, just steady working on this generator. I think that was Steve. I'm watching this in a pretty small window on my computer while I try to record this hot garbage voiceover. Um... This is just my first attempt. I'm going to try to throw this all into OBS and make something worth watching. Oh, hey, Steve. Yeah, that was bad time for Steve there. Um, let's go put him on a hook, I guess. I like to pretend Nemesis just whispered, Steve. Instead of stars. I, I haven't heard him whisper stars. It's kind of, kind of an oversight. It's, it's like his catchphrase. So we got Steve on the hook. I feel bad about that. I like Steve. Um, I would certainly like for Sheriff Hopper to be released as a legendary skin for the game. I might buy it. I, I tend not to spend money on this game except for, you know, new DLC. So we're back at this generator. And here's Cheryl. We just punch her one good time. And, uh... As you can see, I've kind of given up on the tentacle strikes uh, because I'm just not really comfortable with their range. That's Cheryl down. So I've got three on hooks at this point. I mean, they're not currently hooked, but I've, I've hooked three of them uh, at least once and Adam Francis twice. And three gens left. So I feel like... I feel like right now, the game's going pretty well. Let's go patrol some generators. I generally try to keep uh, a couple generators close together as my main patrol route. I'll let them have some of the farther away generators uh, just to make my end game a bit easier. So my vague plan right now is to keep those three generators near the uh, the chapel area, the second floor generator, I want to try to keep those from being worked on as much as possible. Now, I may be sacrificing something ultimately by letting them get the farther two gens, but their insistence... Oh, hey, it's Leon. Nice to see a familiar face. I love me some Leon. Now, he's infected, so I must have hit him with a tentacle strike or something. I don't, he's blue. I'm not sure why he's blue, but uh, blue lives don't matter to Nemesis. So let's go catch this guy. Break this pallet. Um, I'm actually spending a little extra time breaking pallets right now because there's a, a ward in the blood, uh, in the archives, rather, for breaking X number of pallets. I was pretty close to it this game. I wanted those extra blood points to try to buff Nemesis up. Um, yeah, let's check this locker. Holy shit, that was also... Adam Francis has not had good luck with lockers. They are not his friend this game. Every time I've caught him, a locker has been involved somewhere. Sorry, Adam. It was good knowing you. The entity, take your soul. Now let's wander around a bit. Uh, there's two gens left that they need to complete. I Is that what that... No. Is that what that's saying? That can't be right because... There's still a shit ton of gens on the map. But maybe... I, it's hard to see the icon. I'll edit this silly shit out. Well, there's Leon again, and he juked me, but let's let's follow him. Let's follow him and see if we can catch him. We haven't hooked Leon at all. Um, and, you know, you don't dare underestimate Leon Scott Kennedy. He'll make you sorry. It was bad, bad punch, out of range. And again, let's punch a wall. Um, 
I tend to get a little excited when I'm in the chase. And Leon is going to lead me on quite a chase here. Oh, caught him before he could drop the pallet. That was really lucky. He could have easily dropped that pallet on me. But I did the lunge strike, so that maybe gave me the extra reach I needed before he could drop the pallet. Everyone's been hooked once. And Adam Francis is dead. So I'm feeling pretty good about things. They still just need two gens. And uh, they seem to be really heavily focused. I'm going to go ahead and kick that one so it'll regress. They're really heavily focused on this, this corner area by the chapel. Like they just stayed over here. So they got Leon off the hook. I'm going to go have a look and see who I can spot. I caught some movement there. It's Cheryl. Uh, this would be her second hook. There's Leon as well. No, that's Steve. Let's get Steve one good time. Now, I made a executive decision here, I believe, to wander away from that generator without kicking it because I'm not a smart man. Uh, I do have two of them. No, all three of them are injured now, actually. So that's not bad. Um, everybody's one hit away. They've got one generator left. Now, here's where it's going to get interesting because the only generators that are still on the map are all fairly close together. So I can establish an easy patrol pattern. I just have to walk back and forth between these three generators, which are all fairly close together, and uh, prevent that last generator from being completed. There's three of them, and only one of me. But there's Steve. Nice to see you, Steve. Let's see what happens. Oh, well... That's what happens. He gets punched. Let's go put Steve on the hook. This should be the second hook for good old Steve. Really hate that, man. I, I like Steve. He's a good dude. Hopefully somebody will open the ice cream shop when the entity takes his soul. Let's go back to this generator patrol route. I went up the wrong way around this time. I should have gone to the left. There's a much more direct route to that generator. But it did cause Cheryl to go. This is a screw up. I caught myself in this corner trying to chase after her. And it caused me some problems. So that ultimately wasn't, wasn't a smart play. Let's go check on Steve. I'm sure somebody's coming over to save him. But as you can see, I'm just getting close enough to the generators to kind of hear if they're being worked on because there's almost no progress. Now you go up on the left. See, that was a lot smarter that time. And I missed. Shit. Let's kick this gen. Slow them down. It seems to be the one they're focused on the most. And I don't really want them to get it. I don't want these exit gates to be open. It's not a good time. All right. They're setting off noise notifications everywhere. I don't, I kind of don't know what's happening. Let's check this locker. Nope. And that's the first time checking the locker didn't pay off. What a shame. It would have been brilliant and I would have seemed like a fantastic player. All right. Uh, that generator is still regressing. So let's check these down here. Steve is now fully healed up resourceful fella that he is and back to patrol I go nemesis is a lot of fun even though I'm avoiding the tentacle strike I really need to learn how to use that better but he moves fast enough that you can kind of just play him as a basic killer and it's a good time won't miss you again uh, let's kick this generator there looks like they're teaming up trying to work on gens together we're going to leave her down and go see if we can catch a glimpse of Steve out here in the wild. This kind of makes their problems double because now they have to worry about picking her up 
and working on gins. Just sometimes it's good to slug. Just don't worry about hooking them. Let them stay down there for a while. And uh, it, it can be helpful. People feel a lot of different ways about it. A lot of players get angry if you just go around slugging. Um, but it's dead by daylight. Players get angry about literally anything you do. There's this very bizarre idea that there's a correct way to play killer and that you have to give the survivors a fair shake. But I feel that because the game is so, up you go, heavily balanced to favor the survivors, that pretty much any killer strategy you choose to do is valid. Like people are gonna get real mad about tunneling, repeatedly going after the same survivor, or uh, just face camping them while they're on the hook. But all of that really stems from Survivor Main's idea that they all deserve to survive every trial. And from not wanting to leave anyone behind. Who am I chasing here? Steve again? All right. That was a good juke by Steve. Uh, the killer's field of view is kind of restricted, so sometimes just a quick 360 will be enough to throw you off. I thought I hit Steve there, but I actually pegged that zombie. And, uh, like, here would be a good time. Let's let him drop this pallet, and we'll catch him as he comes back over. That's pretty fun. A little bit of mind gaming there. And Steve just... Hopped back over the wind. That's it's actually the second time that Steve is just... Third time, if you count the pallet. He ran into the center building that first time. And then just now he jumped over the pallet so I could hit him. And now, you know, friendly fellow that he is, he just leaps right through the window. So I can land one more hit. And let's put him up on the hook. Uh, Silent Hill Girl, whatever her name is that I something mason what's her name I, I can't remember i knew it just a second ago um now she is the no she she died i guess she bled out no i put her up on the hook jesus i can't remember anything all right so it's just me and leon and uh leon's now down so what i'm doing here is i'm just kind of quickly scouting around to see if i can find the hatch um, I generally prefer to give the hatch to the last survivor if I can find it with too much work. But I was playing this super late at night last night. I was tired. And, uh, I, you know, there's no excuse. I should have, I should have given Leon the hatch. But instead, I, I ultimately decide to hook him. Spoiler. Um... So let me pick him up, and we'll go walk around some more and look for the hatch. Now, Leon, he's being a hes being a good fellow there. He's not struggling. He probably assumes I'm going to give him that. And I kind of feel bad about this, but I don't feel too bad because ultimately my goal in this game is to kill them. So, Entity Take Your Soul, Leon, it was a lot of fun. I really like the way that Nemesis strides through the field. Um, also, I unlocked the Adept Nemesis achievement, which you need to make sure no one escapes to get, and I kind of didn't want to run... Uh, only three perks on Nemesis again. I wanted to try a more exciting loadout. So, there we have it. Uh, me watching back a game of Dead by Daylight. I'm probably not going to do any real editing to this besides overlaying the voice track on the video footage. Um, I'm still learning OBS and I'm a very slow learner. So, I really just want to get this up on the YouTube channel. It's been a long time since I've posted anything worthwhile. And this was a pretty good game of Dead by Daylight for me. I was feeling alright about it. Now, of course, having said that, I am a very low-level player. 
I'm I'm not good. If you're here for like 4D chess, big brain, dead by daylight play, you're gonna be really disappointed by every video you see on this channel. Um, I play every game that I play for fun. And uh, I guess if you've made it this far, thanks for watching. I love you all. And if you're here from TikTok, uh, what's up, comrades?